to South Africa now. And can you imagine learning about the country's history while sipping a beer? Well, this year's Woodstock Winter Beer Festival took place at the historic Castle of Good Hope, the oldest building in South Africa. CGTN's Travers Andrews went to check out some of the finest winter beers on show and filed this report. Beers, beers and lots of beers. Craft beers in particular and the ones where the presentation of the beverages are as important as the taste. The Castle of Good Hope may be over 350 years old, but it makes for a spectacular backdrop for a festival of tastes, sights, culture and history. This is event attracted 70 craft brewers, many of whom specialize in specific types, from Indian Pale Ale to Vice Beers, which is testament to how this festival has grown. We started it in a parking garage in Woodstock and we had 2,000 people turn out. So obviously each year it gets more and more popular and so this year we decided we needed a bigger venue but we still want to keep it inner city. With historical figures such as Zulu King Setswayo and Khoi San Freedom Fighter Doman, the courtyard saw the hype of activity from beer enthusiasts, which is a far cry from the days of slavery. Castle officials have been very supportive of the festival. It's a way of contributing to micro-enterprise development and job creation. It's also one of the most popular pastimes in the mother city these days. The craft beer scene has exploded in Cape Town and that has led to more and more microbrewers opening up shop. Many of whom want to be here attracting new customers. Going to events like this gets to expose your brewery to a lot more, uh, a lot more people. You know, we're always coming up with new beers, trying to bring your brand forward in the market. So yeah, it is important to get to get people to try something new, try something different. We get to interact with the customers. We get to tell them about our products. We get to tell them how we make these crazy beers, all the passion that goes into them, the special ingredients. And then at the end of the day, those those people that have tasted our beers will go to the shops and they'll buy them and support us. The event that also contributes to charity, which for many hundreds of beer lovers here is just another reason to have a day of fun and indulgence at one of the country's most important landmarks. Travis Andrews, CGTN, Cape Town.